Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Vapor Trail, a new analog delay pedal brought to you by Seymour Duncan. So you've heard about that famous Bucket Brigade analog pedal. Well, that's what Seymour Duncan was going for in the Vapor Trail, and they've accomplished it. There's no microprocessors or digital signal whatever's in it. It's just good old analog circuitry. They also have True Bypass, which is, is great. It's built in a rugged housing and it's a top loader so you can squeeze in pedals close together. The actual um, controls are fairly simple. On and off with a nice bright blue LED. Hard to miss that. And then there's the three main knobs. The delay knob, which is very cool. As you can see, it's flashing right now. Well, that indicates what your time is. So as you turn it up for a quick one, you can see right there, okay. So you can see it's giving you a visual clue to what your tempo of your delay is. And now there's no, um, there's no tap on this because it's analog but there are visual clues that'll help. Like when we came in, I was playing that dotted, uh, kind of a dotted thing. And as a lot of you know, uh, to set that by ear is pretty tough, but you can do it. But actually watching the flash kind of helps a little bit. Anyway, let's get back to what the, what the pedal has. There's the delay knob that flashes, which is great. There is, right next to it is repeats, which goes from a very quick, uh, to a basically infinite. And then over here is the mix, which can get very, very wet or very dry. Uh, in these smaller bits up here, uh, this controls your modulation, going from a crazy deep out of control to a fairly subtle. That's the depth and this is the rate. So when we came in, uh, I had it set it by ear to a dotted thing, and I had it on the dirty channel of this amp. Let me tell you about everything in the signal chain while we're talking about that. I'm playing my my Gibson Les Paul standard um, that was uh, painted by the guys in the Gibson Custom Restoration uh, Restoration and Repair Shop, um, and they added a Bigsby to it as well. But other than that, it's it's stock. I was running an Astro cable into the pedal out of this into a machete amp. I was on the dirty channel, completely flat with just a little bit of gain. Um, and later I'll get to the clean channel as well, which is also no gain and, and flat. They're both EQs flat. We're powering it with a Voodoo Labs pedal power, miking it with a Royer R121 mic, running that into an Apache Quartet and then into Pro Tools. So that's the whole enchilada. And this is what the rig sounds like. That's the dirty channel, and here's the clean one. And as you can see, I'm totally uh, dry. There's no verb or anything like that. So the only thing you'll hear is the delay and the amp. So the great thing about analog with delays is it's the it's the kind of out of controlness of it. It's the fact that they do kind of get away, and they've and they get muddy, and they make weird sounds. That's what's cool. Digital is clean, which is beautiful in itself, but there's something beautiful in this too. Um, like if you look at, oh, I don't know, like that classic like edge sound from back in the day, it's kind of an analog tone. Um, and again, there's no, to get that sound, we well, can totally nail that on this, but you have to kind of do it by ear. <laughs> So you might have noticed that when I was turning that, it actually got louder. 
that's what this pedal does. You get, I think it's a 3 dB gain on the, uh, on the delay, which is kind of unusual, but again, very cool thing. It brings out different sounds, kind of the out of control, over the top sound. Uh, let me twist a few other knobs and you can see what it does. Um, if you want like a classic slap back, it does that really well. Again, the whole analog thing is great. I'll put it on a clean channel. And uh, because I'm running this, I'm just, I'm not going in the effects loop, but just plugging it, plugging a guitar into the pedal, the pedal and the amp. When you're on the dirty channel, you're going to find that the effect becomes much more pronounced. On the clean channel, it won't be as pronounced. So let's go for like a slapback thing. I'm going to do away with the depth and all that. I'm just going to give us a one repeat and make this pretty quick. Right there, you almost get kind of a... It's almost kind of reverby, almost like... So, so that's turned all the way down. It's not. It's not really a, a slap back. It's more. It's almost like. It's almost like verb. So cool space noises. Now if we turn, make that, turn it up a little bit, turn up the delay speed and fewer repeats. Now that's kind of pretty extreme, just to kind of give the idea, but if I was going to use that, I'd probably turn the mix down a little bit. So it's a little more, a little less out of control. So pretty, uh, pretty smoking little tone there. Great for a uh, weird reverb, weird slapback, or more of a subtle thing. So that's that's one cool setting, slapback, reverb kind of bit. Now if you're doing like a, I don't know, like a rock and roll solo, uh, you know, like a big rocking foot on the monitor thing, put a little dirt on there, maybe turn up these mods a bit. <laughs> So that's the big arena, hair being blown by a fan, foot on the monitor, rocking kind of tone. Okay, so there we have the, we've got the short delay, we've got the raw, uh, the long delay, and we have the dotted thing. Now let's get into these modular bits a bit. Um, show you how, okay, I'm just, I'm gonna put the mix way up. You can hear that. Now that could be like a cool Leslie kind of thing.
Come on, man. How beetly is that? So that's a cool little uh, side trick like two pedals for one. A TRS insert jack allows you to add effects to the wet signal. That means you can loop in a chorus or flanger or whatever you'd like and further affect your effect. You can also use this jack as an output wet only signal for parallel effects loops or a multi-amp setup. Or you could plug a standard volume pedal into this jack, turn the mix all the way up, and then the volume pedal would become an expression pedal that would control the amount of the delay heard. So that is it for The Vapor Trail by Seymour Duncan. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're on the interwebs, make sure you check out our Facebook page, like us there. We post new stuff on there every like three seconds because your time wasting time is important to us. So check that out. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll keep you up to date on all the cool gear that's out there. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.